Hey guys, welcome back to yet again another video. As you heard from the title, we are going to be making a mod menu in Gorilla Tag. This mod you this mod menu will be really unique. It is different from every other mod menu and it is not a template if you're wondering. This is going to be a mod menu created from scratch. But let's get started. So what we have to do first is get an IDE. Um, there are multiple of them. Um, there's Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, and other IDEs. Um, the one that I can recommend is Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. You can use those two, any of those two, but I'm going to be using Visual Studio. Um, the way to install this, um, you need to search up, of course, Visual Studio. I'll just do Visual Studio Download. We're going to download Visual St Studio Community, this one right here. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to, well, I already have it installed, but um, you're going to see something like, uh, let's see, Visual Studio Setup EXE. And once you go through the process, um, you should have it set up. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is, um, you'll see Visual Studio Installer. You're going to go over there. I already have it installed. So um, once you go on Visual Studio Installer, you should see something like, uh, huh, what's that? You, see, you should see something like this. You're going to want to add this and maybe this, but you're also going to add this. Once you do that, do install while downloading and it should be installed. So once you so once you have Visual Studio installed, you should see this. Uh, don't mind this uh, or all these. These are just mine. Um, what you're going to want to do now, you're going to click create a new project. You're going to you're going to search up class library. This one over here. Once you go over here, you can say your project name. Mine's going to be A, hey, I mean, YouTube, tutorial menu. Once you have that set up, um, click next. Um, this is really important. You're going to want to do net standard 2.1. This is really important. If you do not do this, your mod will not work. Now you're going to want to click create. Once you click create, um, you're going to see a screen like this pop up. And you're going to need dependencies, the dependence, um, well, references, um, these references will allow you to access certain types of code from, from the Gorilla Tech files. Um, the ones that we're going to need, of course, assembly C sharp, assembly C sharp is the game's code. We're also going to need, um, unity engine so we can access unity engine, um, like things. We're also going to need unity engine core module. And the last one we're going to need physics module. Um, we'll add more in the future. Um, and you can add other the references for certain mods that you're trying to do. Uh, just depends. But now, but now we also need um, Bethanex and Harmony. Um, Harmony is for pa we need Harmony so that we can patch our mod, and we also need Bethanex so that we can set up the plugin. So you want to go to Beth, um, Gorilla Tech Beth and X. Um, I will have a link in the video. I'm gonna have a link in the description for how to install Beth and X on Gorilla Tag. Now you just want to do get Harmony DLO and Beth and X DLO. And once you get that, uh, you want to click OK, and it should put the references in. Now you want to do using Unity Engine. I can't remember. You're also gonna want Harmony Web, and last you're gonna need Beth and X. Once you have that. You're going to want to set up your plugin. So what you're going to do is do brackets. Inside the brackets, you're going to do um, weapon plugin right here. Then you're going to do um, round brackets. Um, you need three strings, your GOID. My GOID is just going to be Cameron um, You need your name. Mine's going to be Cameron Cameron's tutorial tutorial menu and now that you have that you're also going to do you're also going to want to set your version my version is course going to be 0 0.01 there now that you have that you're going to want to turn your class into a face unity plugin this is really important 
this is I'm definitely plugging is also important. And now we're going to set we're also gonna set up the patching method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do void awake. Um what this basically means, this just means that um when the game load um when the game is loading up, um anything inside this code will run. Once. It will only run once, by the way. So you're gonna you're gonna create a harmony variable, harmony, harmony. You can call it any variable that you want. Or you're gonna do equals new harmony. And then inside inside these brackets you're gonna do um you're gonna type in your GUID. So you're gonna do Cameron dot menu. See? Once you do that, you're gonna do um harmony patch all so you can patch your methods. You should find every single method inside your um inside your solution, so you should be good to go. Now, um, we're going to set up a script so that we can, I mean, we're going to set, we're going to put a printing code inside here so that we can print a code when the game runs. If the, if you see, I mean, not print a code, it will print a message. If you see the message inside um, the logging console on Gorilla Tag, um, that means that your mod has loaded, which is perfect. So you can do debug.log. So you're going to do debug.log and then you're going to do. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna do you can you can type anything. I'm just gonna type your mod has successfully loaded. Sorry. So once you have that, um you should be good to go. All you need to do is build your project. Once you build your project, um um you'll see right here. If it says six, one succeeded and nothing else, um, you are good to go. You see this? You, you can see this file path right here. Do not, um, do not do the DLL one. You just want to do it right here. You're gonna copy that path and then you're gonna go paste it. You're gonna paste it into File Explorer on the search bar, and then, and then find an, um, your DLL will be the name of your file. So it is, it is right here. You're gonna copy that DLL paste it in the plugins, and then you're going to run your game. And just wait for it to load. Um, um, go Once you're in the login console, you're going to go to the top of the list. If you see, shoot, if you see, you're, you're going to look for um the name of your the name of your mod and the version of it and you should see you should see um like somewhere like right here it should say your mod has successfully loaded or whatever message that that you have and you are good to go to you can close the game and you can exit out um i forgot to mention if you want to get the login console um you need to go to gorilla tag weapon x and then you need to go to config you need to go to bethnx.config. You need to click. I mean, you need to use Notepad or whatever you're using. Then you scroll down the login console and you set, um, you set enabled to true, right here. Once it's true, you save your Notepad and you run the game and you should be able to see the login console. Um, the last thing we're gonna do for this code, um, we are going to add a new, add a new method. This is the update. So basically, any anything inside this code will run every frame well inside this method so inside void update every any code inside there will run every frame we are going to check if i'm pressing the x button on my oculus controller so i'm going to do controller input polar um gorilla tag has its own input system so you can just do it like this and then i'm going to do left controller primary button there now inside this if statement, um, we're if I'm pressing the X button, I'm going to run a code. This code is going, I mean, I'm going to run not a code. I'm going to print a message. And I'm going to call this message. You have pressed a button. Once you do that. Um, you can do, I'm not going, I'm not going, I don't want to get on my VR, so, um, you can go ahead and test this yourself. Th this is guaranteed to work. You're just going to build your project. 
copy the path over here, um, paste the path into your file explorer, and get the D find the DLL. The DLL is the name of your mod, plus DLL, and then you're just gonna paste it into your plugins folder. Once you do that, um, press whatever button you're trying to press on, press whatever button you have in have in here, and then it should it should print a message. So, um, just to remind you, this is this code runs every frame, which means that the more you, every time you're holding down your button, it will print um this mess it will print this message every frame. But that's all we have for this video. Um next video we're going to um get the rectangle of the menu set up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.